Hello fans of Marvel Heroes, my name is Wilfred and welcome to my channel. If you like this video, do check out the link at the description of the video below. A whole lot of guides for you to watch, especially on the team up guide. And this is a team up uh, guide for Magic the team up. Uh, a video request and thank you for asking uh, this for this video. Um, I'm a big fan of Magic, so if you have two, you can, if you can have two, why not? Uh, so I always play Magic with Magic the team up. And uh, so in this video, I'm going to showcase to you what uh, Magic the Team Up can do, some of the powers that you should consider maximizing uh, to just give you the best potential for Magic the Team Up. And also through this exercise, I found some, uh, there's, a, there's a bug somewhere um, in terms of two tips or I don't know, the cooldown setup. And I'll show, show, show you where some of these areas are to avoid uh, putting too many points to it. And the uh, last, but, last but not the least, I'm going to show you some of the uh, number crunching behind it as well because I thought it's quite interesting to, uh, to talk to the new players on how some of this like, um, uh, power can be selected. And, and I'll, I'll use this video as an opportunity to, to tell you a little bit on, you know, even if you don't want to go into numbers and you're not really interested in watching you know, so many videos of mine, you can actually figure out yourself quite easily on what are the powers that uh, usually these are good for the team up all right now um if you look at magic the team up um she has something called the uh, soul sword uh, strike as the basic so you know that is basically her default power so any gear that buff say you know buff the default power this is a special power by the way uh, anything that buff the default power like this one um uh, 40 percent close to 40 percent on default power then will buff this particular power but like i always say uh there's no point uh, trying to hunt gear to buff the default because all the power here, all special power. So, you know, why buff the default when you can buff the special? The default is not that important. Trust me. Okay. Uh, first thing first, a, a scout, uh, scout crack, which is something like, uh, if you look at that one, she looks something like this. This is the one that she, like, you know, hold a sword and, you know, hit it on the head of the, uh, the dummy. So that is a scout, uh, scout crack. And it's also one of the best uh, power she has. The best power she has. And it's not hard to uh, uh, to decipher because, like I like I said in the team up guide um, to, for the two point zero, it is by the tagging in this game. So uh, melee is always better than range. Uh, it's always better than area. It's always better than summon in some sense. So you know uh, this is a pure melee power. So this is the best. So you crack it, the uh, scroll crack. Now uh, dark reaping is the one that will heal the heroes as well. The heal the team up. I think um, when it first came up. The number was a little bit higher. Um, they may have uh, nerfed it a little bit down. I can't remember uh, the way that they. So that's why I'm still like you know a bit hesitant on rescue uh, the team up. Uh, not sure whether they would change some of these like numbers or not. But uh, you know, uh, so this is uh, this is a power that uh, that would help heal the team up and the player. All right. So uh, let me just come meet this guy. And after that, uh, you have a sorceress eruption, uh, which is uh, very much if you play magic, it's the same thing. This is the thing that she has. Uh, you know, that is exactly the same. I can do the same too. Look, yeah. So that, that was team up. That was the, the magic. All right. So uh, then this is the team up. It's a way. So no point putting points in it. Um, but if you are playing her as a full companion, all right. Um, then you have the seven leech step, uh, which is also from magic power. This is something like that. And of course, you know the the one in magic would be to be more fantastic. Um, which is a lot more hit. <laughs> I should have done it. Why do I do it? Uh, anyway, uh, so that is the uh, the one that she disappear a little bit. And uh, if you invest some point in it, uh, you can you can hit an additional enemy. Uh, but you know it, it um, you know it, 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 it you, you have to put quite a lot of points to get all fifteen of them out. So you know uh, so for example one one point will give you one additional two points still uh, two points two. Then three points still two, four points still two, and five points is three. So uh, you know the, the number of points that you invest is it, it, really up to you. But uh, so you know you, I always go for one point first, and two points two also not bad. So you know the additional one is up to you. But I I, I would sort of like you know start with something that um, I, I'm I'm very economical or efficient when it comes to points. So do I want to put three points? I'm still having two probably not right. So you know I I would suggest two. All right. Uh -huh. Wrong button. Okay, now uh, next one is the denizens of other plays. Um, if if you if you put one point here, then she will call uh, one of the uh, uh, four of the demon. Now, 
the four demons here will hit, uh, will crawl and crawl and crawl. Um, and after that, uh, as according to the two tips, the cooldown is 15 seconds, duration 8 seconds. But this is a lie. This is a bug that I have raised in the forum uh, just about. And the, the cooldown is actually 30 seconds. You can time it yourself. Uh, from the time that the demon despawn to the time the demon respawn is about 10, 20, 22 seconds. Duration 8 seconds, so cooldown is 30 seconds. It's not 15 seconds. And the... Um, so that is the, the pets there. And you can have the stronger demon as well. And the stronger demon will do a leap um, uh, as the additional power. So once the demon uh, uh, spawn after 23, 22 seconds, you'll see. And then they will do a leap first. But uh, okay, so here's, here's the challenge of uh, doing theory crafting because it does, the tooltip is so rubbish. Uh, in this game and it's good because it gives me the opportunity to look smart <laughs> which is not uh, so you just need a time uh, the four demons i i think roughly it hit eight times so it's uh, uh during the eight seconds uh you know it, it do a leap there uh and and it's sort of like you know do like you know eight times before this point however if you if you if you do a leap here it doesn't hit eight times it only hit like six to seven times so you know, this power become a little bit nerfed down, I think, or, or maybe animation is a little bit down to, when you do a leap. So the leap only happens once every 30 seconds uh, because the thing despawn after, um, you know, you only respawn every 30 seconds. So uh, do take note of that if you want to do your own theory crafting. This sort of like, you know, it, you do a leap and after that it hits around six times. Uh, but without the leap, it hit about eight times, all right? And the last one is the signature, uh, also one point I'll just say first. All right, so that's when she summoned the big, huge demon, do both a leap as well as a claw. So it's about two leaps and four claws, if I'm not wrong. So that is um, if, you, if you count the animation and so on. Okay, uh, so that is the very quick introduction on what magic the uh, what magic the the team up can do. All right. So now uh, when it comes to the uh, the point allocation itself, so what I would recommend is that. Um, you know, I, I do use my team up for, for a lot of um, content except raiding. Uh, for raiding, you probably would put him to put a, put a team up to 10% summon ally damage as well as generate 52 health on hit. Uh, that is a very small amount of health regeneration as well as damage rating as well. Um, in the past, I would recommend unlocking magic for full passive on raid if you play a summoner because it gives you a summon ally damage 10%. However, um, there are already other better team up out there. I think uh, like the shield, like the shield agent, as well as the uh, you know. Um, so you look at shield, shield agent uh, is is actually twelve percent summon ally damage without the health regen component to it. So is it mandatory to uh, open up magic right now? Unlock magic? I say no. Uh, but it is more for those who really like magic, and you know you can have two magic. Like sisters, wonderful. You can have a matching costume too if you so wish to. Okay, so this part of the video is on what are the powers I recommend you to take. Uh, like I say, one pawn in every single cooldown power is the way to go because you, but for one pawn, for most power, you get half of the benefit. For the additional 14 pawns, you get another half. So it's really no brainer. One pawn is what you should always go for in any team up. Um, kind of um, uh, stuff, and the, uh, to max it up, the highest one is a uh, skull crack. So this is uh, this is what I strongly recommend. The second one is the uh, the prince of other place. This is also hit really hard. So these are the two that should fifteen, and the other fifteen is the uh, sorcerer's eruption as well. So this is the one that um, should come as no surprise. I think it's a sorcerer's eruption. Let me just like uh, let me double check. Is the uh, yep? It's a sorcerer's eruption. So that is the one that I recommend to, to get max out, scroll, uh, skull crack, sorcerer's eruption, as well as the prince of other place. Uh, two points on this one. Why? Because um, uh, one point you hit one enemy, two point you hit two enemy. But then you know you, you add another additional twelve point, it doesn't hit twelve more enemies. So it is more efficient to stop at two. My suggestion to it. But if you do a lot of area damage, you may want to up this one. I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I mean, the, the thing is that, you know, you can either invest the rest of the pawns uh, on here, you know, to hit an extra uh, two more enemy, or you just do like, uh, like this one instead, all right, the seven leech step and be it the 10 pawn. So that would be my suggestion to you when it comes to uh, specking magic. 
uh, so your companion uh, that would give you the maximum potential. Uh, I, know, I, I think it's good enough. And, um, and as, far, as far as Team Up Gear is concerned, make sure you get something that is special power. Any buff to special power is good. Uh, base, base damage is good. Special power is good. Default power is something that is lower pr uh, priority. Uh, make sure you get something that the crit chance and uh, if you notice my magic doesn't have any brutal chance uh, It's a bit pity. I think I would want to uh, You know do something about the brutal because you know if you look at this part of it is zero percent brutal So it's not very good. So uh, I would highly suggest uh, get some gear that on, on the crit get some gear on the brutal But also pay attention to the yellow thing as well You want to make sure that when you use a mag kit your team up gain 100% health I think it's the most important thing and the rest of it because I use magic as uh, in the past As a, as a full passive here uh, for my raiding heroes uh, summoners So I, I, I prefer to have those plus one extra um, You know like this one plus one to benefit while team up is a way power. So what I do, think about way power is like this one, this one, and this one. All right. So uh, last part of the video is on the number crunching itself. For those who are interested in uh, how I derive certain number and the uh, and here we go. Um, I always do something like the. I always look take a look at the basic, but the basic doesn't really tell me a, a story. Uh, it just tell you. I mean, if you look at other other heroes, it, it just tell you that okay, magic hit a little bit harder than than how the dark uh, hit a little bit. Uh, you know. A lot harder than than Agent Thirteen because Agent Thirteen is range, right? So like I say, range is always lower DPS than melee in this game. That's how it works. Uh, if I were to design this game, I would flip it the other way because I will make uh, range a little bit like glass cannon, uh, but hit a lot harder. But this game is strange. Melee is the way to go. Um, scout, scout crack. Is it? Is it the? Okay. So the first thing I would like to draw attention to is always the total damage on rank one. So you see, rank one is here forty six thousand, forty six thousand, whatnot, right? So you know, like like this one, stronger demon is really huge uh, for the um, for for the, for the one point to it, um, but the incremental is not great. So you all, your your job is this, right? You only have um, a, a, a sixty points, I think, sixty points to allocate. Every point should gain you the DPS. One point you already gain the max uh, and gain half of the benefit. So always one point everything uh, that you see, but the additional point you should always put into those. Nooks that give you the highest potential in terms of DPS gain. So I always look into a DPS gain, and uh, I know some some of them hit harder at rank one, some of them hit not so hard in rank one, right? So you know these are all you know, but you get it using one rank anyway. So I always look into the rank above uh, rank two to see the incremental part of it. Uh, it comes as no surprise that some of these are really higher than the others. Um, you know, so I I all pull pull back into. My, my spreadsheet here for me to determine which one to max as 15 point and which one to put the rest of the remaining 10 or 12 point depending on the team up itself um, so you know so these are just some of the things and whenever there's a stun there's always uh, uh, they always nerf the well it's always adjust the DPS down a little bit because there's a utility to it come as no surprise all right and the uh, and this is the one that hit additional additional enemy means AOE AOE means uh, you know also it's a, it's a lower DPS, come as no surprise, I always say. Uh, as far as the summon is concerned, I think this is a bug. I think it should be a 15% in uh, 15 second cooldown, but even so, the incremental is very low. And the funny thing is that, you know, I always look into uh, why, why do I do 5 pawn, 10 pawn, 15 pawn? I want to see if the, if the gain is uh, linear in terms of, um, you know, incremental gain. Um, when you when you add points to it, so by right, you know uh, the second rank, third rank, fourth rank is all incremental, three hundred eight seventy eight across. Uh, but there are some power that is not really the case, uh, or you know it, it may look a little bit different. Um, so so yet another thing that usually I, I I spot them because I think this one has some kind of healing as well. So the thing the highest health uh, as you have more. Uh, more point to it that you know, maybe they, they take that into consideration in some sense I don't know or maybe this cell power just hold, hold it's just bugged all the numbers are bugged so I don't know they may fix it so the rest of it is very nice um, 15 point you get full benefit one point you get half benefit like I always say and they are for magic there's one less power because of the additional enemy hit or healing there's nothing to to do DPS about then I'm yeah, okay um, so that is all really uh, thank you very much for watching and um, I, um, I, I, I usually pay a lot more attention to the hero guide rather than team up guide but uh, if you have some special requests on certain team up 
And uh, it depends on my resource as well, whether I can you know, buy it here or whether I can go to the test center to test out certain team. I'll, I'll, I'll try to do it for you. All right. And the, uh, so that's all. Uh, do feel free to drop me any question. Oh, yes. Uh, a lot of people ask if your summer error damage affect the team up or if team up, uh, you know, or Omega, or Omega system affect team up or when team up hit, will you get a prod? No, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, team up is team up. Team up is only solely affected by the team up gear that everything is being, being, uh, being, being specified as a team up special power. So there's only one tech to it. You know, it's a special power that buffs the special power. That's all it is. All right. See you next time. Goodbye.